All right, we're back, and as promised, we're going to try taking a look at SDL in this video. Um, this will be an experiment. I haven't used SDL in years and years and years, and uh, even when I did use it, I pretty much just used it to get it in OpenGL context. And so we're actually gonna be using a few of the SDL functions to render images to the screen, so we'll be learning about that together. What I've done is I've uh, just searched for SDL2 here, and I'm going to try to download it. Um, runtime binaries, Windows, 64-bit Windows, sure. Uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see what it's being compiled for here, but I think that should probably work. So I'll go to my downloads directory and I'll grab SDL2 and I'll drop it into my binary directory. And then the next thing I have to do is uh, I to call into that SDL2 DLL. I need some bindings, did some C sharp bindings, and so I just Googled. SDL2 C Sharp. I found this project here. It seems to have a reasonable number of stars and people seem to be using it. So I just downloaded uh, the zip off GitHub and we'll try to compile it and see how that goes. So we'll open this project up. And it's opened on my other monitor. It's asking about trustworthy sources. We'll just assume it's trustworthy. And then We'll just go for it. Let's do a build solution. Build succeeded, bonus. Go to release mode, build that. And uh, I think we're done. So we'll go into the release output. There's SDL2CS. Let's drop that into our debug directory as well. And then we have to go and add that SDL2. Let's see here. SSD tutorials and then we're in the chip 8 directory let's add that C sharp bindings DLL and now we can use SDL2 perfect and so as the first step in our main function here we're going to try to initialize SDL I have no clue how to do that and so we're, let's try uh, it's a good search from render image in SDL. Texture loading and rendering. Uh, SDL texture, the window, this is what we want. We want to create a window first. Cool, SDL create window. I feel like there was a call I needed to make to send called SDL init. This isn't making that call. Um, how to render images. Well, this is cool. This is actually in .NET Core, so I'm looking C Sharp. Okay, so somebody's creating a render. We're also not using SDL in it, so it must be okay. And then this SDL image, we'll have to figure that out eventually. SDL rendering APIs for 2D rendering. Check out OpenGL and Vulkan for more demanding graphics. SDL create render. Well, let's just give it a try. Uh, SDL, SDL create render. Cool, it's there. It needs an in pointer to window. Uh, let's see, what did they do there? Window. Well, they're not providing a full example here, are they? So I need to have already created the window. Let's see if we can get a more full example. Rendering images. Here we go. This is looking decent. There's the SDL in it. See, I, I knew that had to be called. SDL, create window. Get window surface. Okay. And then they're loading an image. In this case, a bitmap. And then blitting that to the surface, updating that window. Freeing everything at the end. Okay. This looks doable. So the first step is calling SDL init and then create window. Let's try that out. Init. And then the flags for this would be. Uh, it would have been nice if they had made this a uh, library that actually has kind of typed parameters, but that's okay. 
there like a constants or something like that? Um, SDL Q dot. No, that is just that namespace. So, oh, here they are here. SDL init. We'll just init everything. Might as well, because we're going to be probably using audio and keyboard later. And this returns an integer. And I think if it was less than zero, it failed. Yeah, if it's less than zero, it failed. So if that's less than zero, then console.write line SDL failed to init. And now we want to create the window. So SDL create window. SDL dot SDL create window. Give it a title, ship eight interpreter. Uh, a width and height. And really it's 64 by 32. Uh, pixel uh, output from this interpreter, but that would be pretty off the play on. So maybe we'll do let's try eight times that. Already, that's the x and y position zero, zero, 64 times eight, 32 times eight, and then window flags. Do you need any of this stuff? None of that looks interesting to me. Go focus, grab. Mm, we're not capturing the mouse, we're not doing OpenGL. Let's make it resizable. That sounds like a, a good one. And this returns an int pointer, which is our window. Let's see if this kind of works. Nope, an attempt is made to load a program with an incorrect format. So what that means is that this program here uh, is compiled 32-bit or is running 32-bit and we're trying to call that 64-bit SDL2 DLL. Uh, so I have two ways I can fix this. I can fix this by either downloading the 32-bit SDL DLL and using that, which is probably the simplest one to do, uh, or I could convert this project over to 64-bit. And I usually screw this step up when I try to switch over to 64-bit. But let's, let's do it anyways. I think we want to create a new solution platform that's 64-bit. That looks okay. Create new project platforms, all good. So now we're targeting 64-bit. And this is probably going to go into a new directory. Uh, so x64 debug. So what we need to do is we need to copy all of the stuff we want to use in there over to that new debug directory. And let's give this another try. There we go. So it looks like it's kind of running. And we've created a window up here. I don't know why it's just spinning like that. I guess it's just because we're in a, a tight while loop and we should be servicing events or something up here. So let's get a little bit further. Uh, let's go back to our example here. Getting the window surface, that's fine. Do they have an example of the actual loop here? SDL delay, time delay, close. You would think that they'd have some sort of loop in here where it goes and uh, services any SDL events. But I do not see that. Let's see, handle SDL events. Best way handle event with SDL and C++. Stack overflow is usually good. Oh, this isn't giving anything interesting. Let's just see if IntelliSense helps us out here. Uh, SDL dot event. There's a lot of stuff there. Flush events, get events, init events, poll events. Wait event, timeout. Uh, not as straightforward as I'd hoped. Let's see, SDL main loop. That might get us to where we want to be. Main game loop. There we go, yeah, SDL pull event. That's what they're using. Because to move. Okay, yeah, let's 
try to try doing that. SDL .pull event, and we're going to get an out SDL event. So let's create one of those SDL .sdl event. What are they doing in that case? If it does not equal zero, sure, we can do that too. If SDL event dot type, we'll do the exact same thing. That sounds pretty good. Uh, running equals false, and I'll create a bool running. It's true. And then while running is set, we'll keep executing this loop. Let's see if this looks a little bit nicer. Yeah, now now my cursor's not spinning, so that gives me a, a good indication of SDL working. Oh, awesome! And I just realized that the score is actually being rendered up there now that the uh, the font's available. That's pretty cool. So it looks like the font's working just fine. Bonus. It's always nice to have like unexpected things, good things happen. It's great. Okay, the last thing I really want to do is I want to make that window look a little bit better. Uh, it's, it doesn't have a title bar and I, it's not easy to move around. So let's see if I can steal from this person's code. We've got some initialization stuff. Looks like they looks like they're not calling all the create window stuff. So we'll go back and just take a look at those other flags to see if there's something that makes sense. Full screen hidden, input focus, maximize, most focus, pop up menu, skip taskbar, shown, tooltip. None of these look like the thing I want. No top borderless. I don't really want to. It seems like it's already rendering as borderless. What's foreign? I don't know what that means either. Pop up menu, tooltip, window shown. Let's just see if that changes anything. No, not really. Maybe it's just because this value zero zero isn't a great way to go. Um, maybe the title bar is drawing. It's just drawing up above the top of my screen. Sure enough, there we go. Okay, that's all it was. And now it's resizable. That looks great. Okay. So we were able to get SDL downloaded and uh, incorporated into our project. We've got the man C sharp bindings compiled and added to our project. We've opened the window and everything's looking pretty reasonable so far. So in the next video, I'm going to try to take this ASCII display here and have it rendered in this window instead. So we'll see how that goes in the next video. Until then, have fun programming.